Okay guys, we're just here with Brian again and we're gonna do one of our first uh, tests or one of our first exercises we wanna take him through is just a simple bodyweight squat. Um, it's one of the most, it's probably one of the simplest tools that we can use as coaches to uh, identify sort of strengths and weaknesses in, in someone's uh, movement and in their general kind of uh, overall conditioning. So Brian, can you just do 10 bodyweight squats for me? So just feet shoulder width apart and I just want you to sit back into 10 squats for me. So as you can see from when, when Brian's doing these squats, we're, what we're really looking for is that, does he have healthy range of motion going through his ankles, his knees and his hips? Where is his weight distributed? We're trying to get his weight into his heels because we want him to be loading his hips, his hamstrings and his glutes and not pushing all the weight through his quads. So Brian, can you just hold that for a moment? So Brian's gonna hold this for us. And again, from this, from this side, we're just looking to see the angle of his back, because that's going to determine a lot of things. It's going to tell us how tight he is through his lower limb, and also through his upper, around his glute and his upper and his lower back. Brian, come out, relax out of that. Cool, so I want to show us one, I'm going to show you one quick drill to improve and just work on that range of motion. So if you suffer, uh, suffer from lower back tightness, or you just struggle to get that full range of motion going through your joints, one real quick, easy tip would be, a uh, drill would be, Brian, can you just come over to an upright? I'm going to stand just facing me over here. And all he's going to do is he's going to use the post just to aid his position. So he's going to use it to support himself. So just grab hold of the post there and ease himself down into that squat position. And then from here, he's just going to spend a bit of time down in his, uh, in his, in his bottom position here. And by doing this, he's, we're doing a bit of uh, weighted mobility. So we're using his own body weight just to work on improving the, the fascial, the tissue around his ankle and his knee and his hip. And he can relax, come back up again. And he can do that for 20 to 30 seconds. He's gonna shake it off. And he's gonna do one more time. Off you go, Brian, just do it one more time for me. He's gonna slowly come back down. And again, he's just looking, just to do little small little circles around the ankle, around the knee. Because when you're riding, okay, when you're riding, your feet are in a fixed position, you're putting a lot of power and strength through it for long, long periods of time, and these tissues are working hard, okay, and we've got to find ways to move and open them up a little bit more, we've got to get them mobile, because it's that tight tissue that's going to cause all that, uh, the restrictions, but it's also going to cause like, a, you know, a pressure build-up eventually, and that's where that, these, uh, these issues start to arise through the lower back, through the knee, and through the ankle, just because there's so much congestion going on there, so quick tip, do some, find this could be a bedpost, this could be uh, uh, out on your deck at home, but just something where you can hang off first thing in the morning, just working on your ankle, your knee, and your, and your hip mobility. Have a go, let me know what you think.